Inkscape is a vector-based app that lets you create, edit, or modify graphic files. On the left you will see the toolbox. This contains most of the tools needed to create objects and modify them. You can create rectangles, circles, polygons, etc. You can also modify the objects using the node editor. More on that later. At the top is the typical menus with drop-downs. You save and load files in the normal manner. There are also special functions to modify objects. Objects can be converted to paths for further modification. Effects such as drop shadow and many others can be added here. At the bottom left is the fill and stroke for the selected object. Fill is the interior color of the object and stroke is the outline of that object. You do not have to have a fill or stroke color if you don't want one. With an object selected, click on the color palette and it will be filled with that color. If you hold shift and click on a color, the stroke will be that color. The bottom left will reflect your colors. The layer commands are shown on the bottom left also. You can access the dialog that shows you the info on the layers that are currently there and allows you to create, modify, or delete them. Layers are a nice way to organize your objects. They can be turned on and off and moved up and down in the hierarchy. At the bottom of the screen is the color palette. You can click on any color you like to use it as a fill or a stroke. On the right are up and down arrows that allow you to cycle through the currently selected palette. You can also click on the three small bars to the right to choose another color palette. On the bottom right, you will see the current zoom level. You can change it by clicking the plus or minus key. You can use the control key and roll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can also hold the mouse button down and drag around the screen to move the view. I myself like to use shortcut keys. Inkscape has a ton of them that will speed up your workflow. I use the one key to get to the full page. Or I use the three key to zoom into the selected object. At the top is the tool control bar. This will change depending on what tool is selected. You can modify the tool's options here. For example, you can set the height, width, and placement of a rectangle depending on what units you selected from the drop-down. You can change the properties for the entire document. Press Ctrl and Shift and D to open that dialog. From there you can select document size and units such as imperial or metric. At the top and left side you will see rulers that will help you when designing for a certain size. They are based on the units you chose. You can switch units back and forth at any time. If you left click on a ruler and hold the mouse button down, then drag onto the document it will create guides that can be helpful. You can also set the guides to specific distances by double-clicking on that guide. You will see the page borders on the screen based on the page size you chose. You can create or drag objects off the screen so they are not exported if you want.